It looks like he's not gonna stop. And also, I wanted to excuse for the audio quality. I know it's terrible, but I'm going to get a new phone soon and then this problem will go away. So just be a little patient with me and with this goddamn dog. And let me give you the update. Hey guys, my name is Ella Fox. Or welcome to my channel. And for those of you who didn't watch my last video, this is part two of why I'm getting braces and the whole process of getting braces. And throughout the video, if I mispronounce words or if I'm just moving my mouth weird or if I'm doing any of that, just know that I am in a lot of pain and it is not good. It's not good. And I cannot even move my a lot of parts of my mouth correctly because there is just a lot going on. So today we're going to be talking about my step two in getting braces, which is we're going to talk about scaling, fillings and polishing. So let's begin. Um, here is my teeth. <laughs> they are very vampires and I'm so sad that they're gonna be gone. I was taking pictures today and I was just like, oh my god, they, they are just here for a couple of days and I'm never gonna see them like this again. It's like... Basically, um, from my last video, let me just do a little bit of a recap. I had swollen gums because there was a lot of cementation behind my lower incisors. Now, I thought something was stuck there, but upon seeing the dentist, I found out that there is a lot of cementation of plaque behind my lower incisors. So I went to see a dentist and we decided on getting scaling done. And then I was like, hey, let's see another dentist. And the dentist was like, yeah, sure, you know, see this other dentist. And we saw her and she actually did like an ultrasound thing or something like that. And we found out that not only do I need scaling, I also have a couple of cavities growing in my molars and premolars so the cavities were pretty much in like the earliest day so they were like i'm also going to need a couple of fillings and she told me to you know come in after a few days and just get it done now the spaces my god they were so painful i cannot put into words how painful they were so I was really scared for the scaling because usually when you get it done, you have sensitive teeth. For like a couple of weeks after, you have really sensitive teeth. And this one time my mum got her scaling done from this doctor and she had sensitivity for like months afterwards. Like she could not drink tea, she could not drink iced tea, hot tea, even like because it was winter time, she couldn't even drink room temperature water because it, it was just too cold for her. Like even when she was like in the morning, just put some water, tap water into her mouth, like rinse it out. She could not do it because there was just that much sensitivity. So I was so scared and I didn't even know what scaling was. I didn't, I had no idea. I literally thought that scaling was a whole thing where you manually like take some instruments and you scale your teeth, like you're scrapping the plaque off of them. That's what I thought what it was. But apparently it's just water. It's just high pressure water that they just kind of like do it like shh into your mouth and just comes right off. It just came right off. It's, I was shocked. Like the doctor was like, you know, she kind of explained it to me. She was like, oh, it's your first time. Let me explain it to you. It's just water. So I'm going to give you like a little bit of a demonstration. Let me just do like a couple of teeth. There's nothing to be afraid of. So she did a little shh and, and I, she was like, it's already done. Three teeth done. And I was like, oh. Three teeth, done already. Like it was so quick and so painless. It was amazing. But the problem began shortly afterwards. It is disgusting. It is so disgusting when they're kind of like taking the plaque off, especially behind my lower incisors. There was a lot of cementation. So when they took that off, it was foul. It smelled so bad. It's And most of your sense of taste comes from your sense of smell. So it was the taste and the smell and it was so disgusting that I wanted to throw up. Like I wanted to throw up. It was so bad. It was so bad. Well, thank goodness that I didn't throw up. So we did that, I spat it out. And then there is a slight bit of a bleeding, like your gums will bleed a little bit. And depending on how bad the cementation is, because mine wasn't that bad. If it's really bad, it will, hurt a lot, it will bleed a lot, and there will be a lot of sensitivity. So yeah, that was disgusting. And then it only lasted for like a couple of minutes because I thought it was gonna take a lot of time. It took only a couple of minutes. Two minutes and we were done. 
So we did that, I spat it out, rinsed my mouth, thank goodness it was over. After that, we began on the fillings. Now, at that moment, at first the doctor told me that I only had, I only needed two fillings, but then she was like, no, you need four. And there is one on the wisdom tooth as well, but she was like, you're gonna just get it out at one point of your life, so let it rot. <laughs> So um, she was like, you're going to be seeing me all the time now. So I'll just do two fillings now and two later because the cavities are not exactly like full cavities. Like they're in the very initial stage. So she was like, you'll be okay. So we did two fillings, which was once again, not painful, nothing like that. You do do a little bit of drilling first. I'm not even sure if it was drilling because I had my eyes closed. Like, it's weird. You're here and the dentist here and it's like kind of weird. So it's almost like kissing somebody. You don't want your eyes open. Nobody looks cute that are closed. Yeah, it's weird. So I had my eyes closed and it did sound like drilling, but it smelled like hair burning, which might be from the fact that your hair and your teeth Wait, is it about your hair and your nails? I'm not sure, but maybe... But it smelled like burning hair. Like sometimes, you know, when you're, you you turn on the stove and it's it turns on like... And you kind of like burn a little bit of hair from your hand. You could smell it in the air. Or like sometimes you burn off your eyebrows or your hair or something. It literally smelled like that. So it smelled like that. I once again wanted to throw up, but it was over soon. She did the filling and then you know you're supposed to wait a little while and it was like i think they call it the laser fillings or something i don't know but it's, it's almost like getting your nails done and they you know put it under this machine and you're supposed to wait until it dries kind of like that so she put this little thing this light thingy on my teeth let it dry and we were done I have to be down in half an hour because my mum is going to be making a smoothie for me and she wants me down in half an hour so we're just gonna keep talking okay so after that we did the polishing and i did take before and after pictures this is the before and this is the after there isn't much of a difference because i didn't really need the scaling um the dentist took some pictures oh my god they're so scary i almost look like pennywise like they're so freaking scary and you can see my spaces in them as well. So, we were done with the polishing, the scaling, the filling, and then she told me of the aftercare and the next step in the, in the braces, which the process is going to officially begin. So, a couple of new things that I learned was that you're not supposed to brush too harshly. Because I always go for like a medium or, I've never gone for a hard brush, but if I could, I would. <laughs> but I always go for like a medium brush, which is stupid of me because every time I've been at mini so I've always only found soft brushes, which might be from the fact that the Japanese people are just smarter and only use soft brushes. But I thought of it as like a flaw in mini so like why do they only make soft brushes? Or maybe it's the fact that everybody gets the medium and the hard ones and only the soft ones are left. I thought it was like that, but apparently you're only supposed to use soft brushes. So so the dentist said that you're apparently not supposed to use hard brushes always go for the soft ones because what are you trying to get off of your teeth she was like a little bit of scrubbing just gets the thing off you don't need a medium or a hard brush what so she recommended and because i had just gotten my scaling done she was like just get an extra soft brush but then normally just use a soft brush she recommended a soft brush from sensodyne and the Colgate toothpaste. She was like, I'm personally a fan of those. So I did switch from Sensodyne to Colgate upon her recommendation, but I did not get a Sensodyne toothbrush because I had a mini so one just laying around the house. I was like, I'll use that one first. And then when I'm done with it, I'll get a new Sensodyne one. So yeah, that, that was her recommendation. And also she said, do not brush up and down. Like she was like, why do we brush up and down? You're supposed to brush in circular motions. So be like that. In the back, everywhere, just go in circular motions. Um, brush twice a day or after every meal, um, which I think I'm gonna start doing that after every meal. She was like, either do that or, you know, after lunch or something, just 
rinse your mouth with like slightly whole water because that will also you know clean out a lot of the oils and a lot of the sticky materials and everything now because of the fillings the dentist also recommended not to eat anything too sticky which involves like chocolate chips or like sticky toffee and I am sad because I, I, I want to eat all the gummy bears. I mean, I don't normally eat gummy bears, but now that I cannot, it's just all the more tempting. And my mom was like, oh my God, how long can she not eat it? And she was like, does she have to eat it? And I was like, yes, yes, I have to. I haven't lived a life yet. I need to eat all the things out there. So, I mean, she did take a look in my mouth today and she didn't say like, oh, your feelings are ruined. I mean, I've been eating like figs and everything. So I thought it would be ruined, but it's okay. We're cool. And lastly, I did not get sensitivity. Oh my God, I didn't. Because I tried eating like ice cream or drink cold water because that really, you know, soothes with the pain, the pain that the, the spaces are causing. So it helps a lot with the pain. So, you know, I was eating the ice creams and the cold water and I was okay. So I'm really glad. I'm really glad about that. And the last thing, it is weird. There are spaces in my mouth that did not exist before. And you might have noticed, if, if you've been watching my channel for a while, that my accent today is different. It's because I normally don't talk like that. I normally talk like this. But every time there is something wrong with my mouth, it's just hard for me to talk. <laughs> I cannot do it. I cannot talk with my accent. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna try. It's not working. I'm gonna lose my accent. Okay, just go and watch my last video because you'll be able to see. I normally talk with a completely different accent <laughs> but every time there's like something wrong with my mouth like my mouth's really dry or I'm just like you know sometimes you just feel weird in your mouth so whenever it's that I am just unable to pronounce words like I I'm stumbling over my own words and I'm just unable to talk which is when it is much easier for me to talk if I just you know switch to this accent and it's really weird, I don't know. I, you know, it, it should be harder to talk like this, but it's just so much easier. Maybe because, I don't know, maybe I grew up with this, I don't know. But I normally prefer that accent, but I'm just unable to talk like that. It, it, I don't know, which is, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. So, as I said, there are now spaces in my mouth that did not exist before. You know, all that cementation behind my teeth. I can now feel my teeth, like, the dentist literally put it like that. She was like, feel it with your tongue. You're going to be able to feel all the individual digits. You feel it too. Can you feel all your individual teeth very clearly? Like now it's, it's almost like a taboo area in my mouth. I don't even want to reach it with my tongue. It feels so weird. It feels so weird. It feels so weird. And it's like gone a little bit better because I got the scaling done a couple of days ago. It's gotten a little bit better, but for the most part, it's so weird. <laughs> and now my tongue cannot quite reach, you know, because at first it was kind of like wounded and now it just feels weird. My tongue is not doing it properly. Like the alliteration, the linguistics, everything is out of place. Like all the, I would say like the palatal sounds, because like the tongue moving towards the bottom teeth, it is just weird. And in the next step, it's going to get weirder because I am going to get the spacers out and I'm going to get metal spacers instead for the braces. So, Lord behold, there is just a lot going on in my mouth. So, yeah, that was it for today's video. That's I think that's all I really have to talk about. Maybe there is something else, but I'll share that in the next one. Um, as I said, I am scheduled for the braces on Tuesday and I'm only going to get them on my upper teeth because as I said in my last video my teeth are like this you can't even see my bottom teeth because my upper teeth kind of come ahead of them and cover them so there isn't any space for the dent you know for the braces on my lower teeth because then I won't be able to close my teeth so that's why I'm only going to get the braces on the upper teeth and when they give enough space we're gonna get the braces on the lower teeth so yeah that's the plan on Tuesday I'm gonna get braces on my upper teeth um, but before that I have another update for what the dentist did to me today so I will try to you know record that video tomorrow before I get the braces so you guys can really see what's going on 
And yeah, that is it. Make sure to subscribe because I will be documenting the whole journey, every single step, and just letting you guys know what's up. They're gonna put cement in my mouth. There is a lot going on. I am learning a lot of new things because like, as I said, like I thought scaling was a completely different thing, but apparently it's just water. So yeah, this will be an exciting journey for you and for me. So stick around. I mean, also follow me on my Instagram. It's at Fox. And yeah, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. And I will catch you in a couple of days with an update on this. <laughs> and bye.